Hey, YouTube family. I'm here back again. I told you that I will be updating you with, like, everything that's, like, going on with me. Right now, I got into another Airbnb. You know, this one is, like, more of, like, an apartment type thing. Type things. You see, it has, like, the kitchen, everything. It has stuff in the in the cabinets like if you needed it it has pots and stuff um i made rice and beef stew and this is like the living room area like right there yeah so it's pretty pretty clean this is like the bedroom yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. and this is like the little bathroom they have towels but I have towels here also because I came with my own towels and stuff. And this is like the closet. Like the closet is so big. And this is like my stuff and you know. So yeah, so I'm in here. Um till you know I can't be in here no more. Um I just been trying to stay focused, you know but um you can stay focused and stuff but when you gotta go to court and miss a day that cause your money to be low um you know and when you're working as a partnership it's like you got one that's doing this and then another because i have court coming up i have lawyers to pay I have all of that to pay. Most of my money have to go into paying for a lawyer, you know? You know, unfortunately, that's what happened and I have to do what I have to do. And me missing days at work, well, thank God Amazon is not like other employees that employers that you could be homeless and they don't care. Amazon care because they don't want you to be homeless have nowhere to go and all of that stuff like they want to make sure that you're good so that you could perform the job right you know so i'm good with my job you know they know what's going on they have pictures whatever like that's all you got to do for amazon shout outs to amazon you know it ain't like i lost the job Cause some people don't understand that because their jobs don't care about them. All their jobs care about is them coming to work. Unfortunately, once Amazon knows what's going on with you, they will give you resources, which they just giving you resources. You still have to go look into these resources and see if they work. Now, for the people that's not buying thing, renting right now, you know, because they in the back, in the back, back, they don't understand because you already in. <laughs> but the people that's not in and have to deal with them, let's go back since y'all know so much. Okay. In COVID time, right? During COVID, everybody was getting apartments. Some people was lying about their pay stubs mind you they was not working they had made up pay stubs they had um they was working at the job but then they was fired and they were showing old pay stubs okay then you have the ones that was just lying to get into the place so now that people are trying to like rent we're talking for the renters are trying to rent or get into stuff they have made it extremely hard and if you don't know go find out the renters know the renters know because we're renting so we know how difficult it has gotten because of those two years of covid no fool not the disease 
but because of the free money, the PPP loans, and all of this stuff that people was going in, lying and scamming their way into apartments, it made it hard for the rest of us. Because now they're definitely cracking down on your credit score, which I got it denied. Okay, it's not like I'm not looking. I'm looking. I got denied because of my credit score because I still owe credit cards because I have not gotten to pay my, my credit cards yet. So they're looking into credit scores. Some of them saying they're not. You have some of these places, you have to have a seven credit score. Oh, the homeowners don't know that. They don't know that. We know that. So it's not like we just fooling around and and just doing things. <laughs> That's why people got to know what's going on in the world. This is what's going on. They made it. Some places, you got to have a six credit score to even rent with them. Did y'all know that? Oh. And we're talking about the people that's under five five credit score 500 credit score it's hard for them to get into a place now they're doing backgrounds i really don't have nothing on my background that will prevent me from getting into a place but unfortunately i'm with someone that uh, it may it may affect them but the last place we did the application for it denied me for the credit score and I believe both of us, okay? Because now, because of what's going on, they want to make sure you have money before coming into their place. They want to make sure you have a job. And if you're getting paid weekly, which I didn't know that, I would have thought that the person I'm with would have been remembering that that i transitioned from getting paid every two weeks to i'm getting paid every week i thought they would the blinkers will blink and be like oh no you need four more now for the renters in the state of texas it don't matter if both people have missing stuff. That means somebody is coming to look at a place too and they have missing stuff and you have missing stuff, okay? Whoever get back to the company first, that means the two, the two separate tenants that's looking into these places, whoever get to the, um, the rental company first, that's who they're gonna go with okay and this is for the people some of the people already know the t because they're out here right now there's a lot of people going through tenant stuff and they have programs which i didn't even know that the girl told me by rights they was really supposed to help us yes because they was wrong they was wrong they was wrong so we the um, tenant relief or whatever due to the situation okay so it's like difficult it is really difficult to get into the place and right now the only thing is available that ain't that difficult is Airbnb, Airbnbs and hotels okay um, also what else it's just so difficult and then having someone that okay you got jobs lined up because i do pick shifts and whatever and that person decides to return the car how is that me that person is in their name because i i have suspended license so in order to rent a car you have to have a license so unfortunately, if that person wants to, and it was true, if that person wants to give back the car to wash their clothes instead of paying 
for the car so that I can get to work and pick up these shifts so I can get paid and have some money. That's not me. That's not me. It's my fault of crashing my car. So now I have to go through that and now I don't have my independence. But if somebody is crippling me, how is that my fault? You know? So, then if a job wants a permanent worker, now I, I could, first of all, you could have multiple jobs. So just because I'm trying to work here and there, that's because I'm trying to get more money so I don't got to ask nobody, you know? Yeah, on kind, on kind. So even though I am, because there's a lot of people that work for Amazon that work other jobs. If you ain't an Amazonian, you don't know. Because you people will swear by Amazon because they're not working at Amazon. Okay, okay, okay. The checks is only a rent check. Actually, I was getting the same thing I was getting at home at Amazon. 700, 700, seven something. Actually, if you only work four days and you're not working the Thursday, the overtime day, it's like five something or six something. So I was actually making that at home. <laughs> So, yeah, not to say Amazon bad because, you know, but there's people at Amazon that works multiple jobs so that they can have more money because things have gone up. Prices have gone up. Rent has gone up and everything has gone up. So even people at Amazon, if you want to know, fill out an application they do a um sign on bonus of a thousand dollars and then you could come into the amazonian life and find out because you know some people be thinking you're just pulling it out your behind or some things but you're not like this is reality nobody gotta lie especially me i don't gotta lie ain't no reason to lie um so it's just like so much stuff, but trust me, I would never, never, never let myself get like this ever again, or even let a guy cripple me like this, you know? And then, oh yeah, then when we were supposed to go to Pflugerville so I could be closer, and then he would have just been in Killeen working, out here it was five something mind you because he ended up giving the car back because he needed to wash clothes i didn't have no money so that's all he had oh yeah because people say oh you could do it because they feel he could do it but we still living in hotels and stuff so how can he do it and in that place that people said oh you can pay bills he, he how many times he went into getting a letter of the eviction um cable came off just as amount in me so how is he even any better in paying bills than me okay but you know they protect the guys y'all you know they don't protect us the little black women no more it's all for the guys all for the guys even when they're messing up too ain't nobody coming to check them they gonna check you so that's what i was saying what was i saying so being that i wasn't working and he had that one check i he was supposed to get the hotel so i can go up there to work and all i am is a walk away okay okay because everybody that works at amazon stay on that little strip right there it's easy to get to work some of them walk to work some of them ride a bike to work everything take a cab take the uber is like eight dollars it's less right because he saw the prices mind you it was around memorial day weekend he saw the prices of the things and was like no he's just gonna get the rent a car okay so i ended up not going so then i just ended up picking up shifts just picking up shifts and stuff like that because also 
I also need gas to go up there. Like, it's not easy, like, you know? But you know what happened was, when you work at home, people like, oh, you home, you home, you home, you home, because they mad that they got to get up and, and, and go. They should have left me at home. But there was a lot of people complaining, 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 saying hospital, um, this, that, 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 and the third. When at home, it's no different. I get the same amount of money. Same amount of money. And you actually work more days. Could be believing a lot. Tesla make more money than Amazon. And that's because Amazon employees is because they work more days than us. Oh, yeah. They didn't know that because they're not in Amazon. <laughs> they're not in Amazon. So you will not know. <laughs> Mm -mm. What do you think unionized is? Why you think Amazon got unionized in some places? Why you think some people walked off of Amazon? 700. Go look it up for anybody that think I'm just talking out my head. Because I found it by researching. That's why I know about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, it was that. So, then I'm out here. So I booked, all. Uh, I picked up shifts. I went to work. First of all, that lady was so rude. She was so, so rude. She was like, we not accepting work and just walked away. I'm like, ma'am, uh, I need a code so that the app, the, peep, the manager of the app knows that I was here. I ain't giving no, black people are the worst. The worst, honestly. The worst. I just need to stay away from people because when I start with my little attitude, people be be turning victims after. And it's like, yo, didn't you 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 caused me to have this? And now that I took it far, now you got a problem. But yeah, that's just how life is. So then I had to leave. Mind you, I'm still waiting. For me going up there and wasting my time, I'm still waiting for that pay right there because they have it pending because I got there and they did not. Um, and then I got turned around. Then when I went back Monday, when I went back Monday or Tuesday, the general manager spoke to me and he was looking for more of a permanent worker and not like people like me. He had already had an Amazon, had an Amazon worker, and I guess he didn't like it because honestly, we're only gonna work Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, um, depending on what days, because everybody got different days off unless you're front half or back half or donut shift or um, yeah, or flex workers. We we. We all, depending on which category you in, we all got the same days off, except the flex workers because their days off could be all over the place. But the rest of us, our days off would be the same. So that means, and they didn't want that. They didn't want that because he thought this app was like an agency where he would just have permanent work and they're all his. No, we pick up shits because we need extra money so that we could fend for ourselves and do what we need to do. And mind you, I was booked for those shifts all the way to the 12th of this month. And he canceled all of them. He was super nice. I told him about his employee being rude and stuff like that. He knew exactly who she was and stuff. Um, and another white girl said she was rude too. So it's not just me. Cause you know, anytime I say something, people get quiet or they think it's me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But even another white girl was like, yeah, she's rude. But honestly, because she was only five minutes away, it wasn't that much of a big deal. But you're being rude to me, and I have, I done drove two hours. I mean, an hour and 45 minutes, like, chill, like, you know? But she was like, yeah, she was rude. So the manager, we laughed, we kickled, we talked. He said, I can always come back if I need permanent work whatever whatever but he's looking for more of a permanent worker that's not my fault and if i'm trying to go to court i have court you can't tell 
for anybody that never been in court before, you cannot tell the judge I gotta go to work. You have to go to court. So that's why I'm home now because I might as well take the days because Amazon don't give you days for court. They just give you, for the people that have not been in a job in a little minute or they have been at their job for however long so they really don't know how other jobs operate. You know, because some people be speaking from those situations. And, um, who I forgot. I forgot. It's like so much. So much. So, yeah, I have court. So, it's like, let me get the court out of my way because I don't want to go back to, go back to work. And then I have to miss again. And then I don't have a vehicle. And because of how he's moving... I have to make sure I cover my back with my job, which that's only right. That's why I still have it. For the people that probably think I'm fired. I am not fired. It's just that it's very unpredictable right now that I just have to tell them that I have to stay away for a little bit due to personal issues, which it is approved. I have approved and I have the app so everything could be pulled up. So that's pretty much it. And then sometimes he wants to do what he wants to do. I feel like I have, like, he just want to hurry up and get things done and come, 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 come. And it's like, he's not even thinking. Because come to find out, he, he talking about me holding us up because of the four checks, which I had got that the next day. But come to find out. You, who's going to let you in a place with your background? So you're the really hold up. And then he's like, well, oh, you know, the other place. For one, the other places we had money saved up because we had money saved up. And around those times, it, they, the credit was good. The, um, I, for one, I didn't even have credit. And we was good. It was money. So, yeah, we got into those places quick, 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 quick. This time around, and he's not thinking like that. But, yeah, that's that's who people bigged up. Bigged up. He's the man. Okay. Okay. Shame on you. But, um... I just forgot to. Oh my God, I just forgot. It's so, because it's like shame on people because like people bigging him up. And it's like, you know, because a lot of people was bigging him up. Like, oh, you could pay? Why not? I can't pay. What is he really paying? How much you think rent is? <laughs> like, so he's holding up, up now because there's a lot of places that's not going to rent to him. Even the job he's at, he has to stay there because there's not a lot of jobs who will hire him. So at this point, it's like he's holding me back. But I have to focus. I'm going to focus and get myself out of this because it's like when you're going through, like last time, if we didn't have, you know, even though it was like probation because the first place, it was under my name because he couldn't even get in. Yeah, 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 and y'all didn't know that, okay? The second place, his probation was off and whatever, whatever, so he was able to have his name, my name, on the lease or whatever, okay? But this time around, it's a different technique. It's a different way than the other time we didn't get the place. It's because he's looking at a place for 1000 1500 why would you look at a 1500 place? But yet again, this is who people big up. Why would you look at a $1,500 place and we just left an $800 place? Why don't you go back? Just we needed to find something that was worth that 800 because that wasn't worth $800. Like, come on. Even the, the Spanish guy that was living over there moved too because it was really not worth the price. He moved. But he had enough money or whatever because he bought a house. He actually, and he told us, that's why we know. He bought 
a house after leaving that area too because he left too but he bought a house and stuff like that because that price was ridiculous it really was and he's old so it ain't no rebel no young people trying to this trying to that trying to that he was old too and he moved over there the only difference was he you know he got into a place or whatever and mind you the only reason why it went like that is because my birthday was march and then we found out about this situation and then we had to move so it really wasn't no money saved up like that because we had just came back from me going going on my little birthday trip or whatever getting away so it wasn't no money like that and then we only had till october 31st to get out of the place so that's why we're in this predicament right now and the only reason why i keep on moving slow is because it's getting denied they have made it harder okay harder because there was people and yet again we're not talking about covid the disease we're talking about covid the event around covid time people was moving into places they didn't have no job they were scamming their way into places they didn't have no jobs they was giving them old checks they that that they was getting paid for from the job but they're not even working a job and everything like they was really scamming these rental places to get into a place which now it done made it hard for people that's in the renting people that's trying to rent especially if you owe credit cards if your credit score is not high enough because that is what they're looking for and they're not playing they want that they want the good credit score they want that if you don't have that you cannot move in they have cracked down cracked down if people are not renting right now because they was fortunate to be in their place if homeowners have their place that's good for you but some of us and if you already in your place you're saved by the bell but people that's trying to get into other places, it done got harder. Because people was scamming their way in. So, yeah. So, have, hopefully everything goes good on my court day. And, you know, everything gets straightened out on my court day and stuff. So that I can get back focused. Because... They're really holding me up also because every minute I have to take a day off is not optional when you're dealing with court. I have to take a day off to, to go deal with that. Then now it's the supervisor of my new probation officer is, is, is involved too. Because come to find out, she wasn't supposed to tell me that I wasn't going to get no jail time or that I wasn't going to get no jail time. All they wanted me to do is like AA and get help and I would do everything all over. Like probation would be all over. Everything would just be all over. It would be a continuous and then the added AA. She wasn't supposed to tell me that, but because my lawyer was not doing his job and he told me to call her, that's why I got that answer. And she was not supposed to tell me. So now the supervisor done got involved. Oh yeah, people don't know that because they don't ask me. So that's why it's like a lot going on. And I'm dealing with a relationship issues that I honestly don't even want to be in a relationship never again. Never with a black man, never with an American guy. I just don't want to deal with no man. So, 
that's it and yes i did take a shower it's a little chilly in here i'm about to eat probably go on tiktok live y'all go check my tiktok out i'll be posting 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 i probably post over there a lot but i'm gonna start back posting on here because you know you gotta stay consistent you can't give up and you gotta keep 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 going keep going because youtube starts you in the six that's how come some youtubers after a while they don't even have to work anymore because it i think the cheapest check is six hundred dollars and then it goes all the way up yeah yep 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 and some people have built their houses. Some people have did a lot with their um, YouTube money. So I really need to stay focused and just post, 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 post. I don't care what I'm posting. I'm posting it. I'm posting it. And that's another thing. That's what big content creators say. You can't worry about, oh, this person telling you don't post that. Why are you posting it? Especially the watchers watching other people. Like, oh, well, this person do it this way. That's them. Because in the content creator world, that may work for them, but that may not work for you. You know? But you got to stay focused. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. If you got to air your dirty laundry, air your dirty laundry. Because if we don't know, we know. Amari makes a lot of money airing her dirty laundry out there. Okay? And YouTube and, pay, and Facebook pay for her whole lifestyle yes so if it's dirty it's gonna get aired out because you know some people like the drama some people like hearing the drama all that drama stuff so you just air that stuff out i'm gonna air all this stuff out so yeah so that's pretty much it i'm keeping y'all updated i'm just like posting 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 So, yeah, big purr, not little purr, so pretty much, so y'all stay tuned, I'm going to keep on posting, 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 yes, I'm posting everything, I'm going to post it at court, I'm going to post what's going on in court, I'm going to just be posting, 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 I'm going to be telling y'all the tea, what, 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 when they play, when people playing in my face, I'm posting it, I'm posting it, I'm posting it, so if you don't want it out there, don't be around me or don't do me dirt, because it's going up, yes, 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 So, that's pretty much it. I'm about to go on TikTok Live, y'all. I just wanted y'all to know that I'm in a place right now. I'm doing good. I'm okay for right now. You know? I'm feeling kind of hungry. Nice thing. So, I just wanted to let y'all know all of that. another one but dang I broke my charger now. so but my phone not broke but I broke my charger so no I have another one though so yeah anyways I'm about to go on TikTok live and yeah talk my stuff and 